The question states to calculate the value of x. And looking at the situation, x is a side, is a length in a right angle triangle. And immediately I start thinking about Pythagoras' theorem, eh, because we can calculate lengths in right angle triangles. Eh, and Pythagoras said, well, a squared plus b squared equals the hypotenuse squared. Yeah, so one length squared plus the other length squared equals hypotenuse squared. However, in this particular situation, I know the hypotenuse, but both of the other sides are unknown, so I can't use Pythagoras' theorem. So I'm getting a little bit nervous now because uh, it's not going to work. However, the question gives me more information because it gives me this angle here of 50 degrees. And then I find this different strategy, this different method to solve this problem because yes, we can use trigonometry. Now a quick revision of what trigonometry is exactly about. I drew a situation here. Trigonometry also yeah, is only uh, will only work in right angle triangles, yeah? so a triangle with one angle of 90 degrees. And then you have three ratios, and it's all based upon um, similar triangles, but I'm not going to talk too much about that now. But we have three ratios, the tangents, the cosine and the sine. And the tangent said, well, the opposite side divided by the adjacent side is going to give you the tangents of a particular angle. The cosine of an angle is the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse, and the sine is the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. But that's really difficult to remember, all these ratios. Yeah, but again, you do not have to worry. If you remember the little riddle, Toa, Ka, So, yeah, and perhaps your book, your textbook, or your teacher gives you it in a different order. You just remember the order you are comfortable with. But Toa Ka So, if you remember that, yeah, and if you repeat it a few times, and perhaps tonight when you have a cup of tea, you tell yourself, you tell your mom and your dad, Toa Ka So, Toa Ka So, and you will never forget again. Toa Ka So, where the tangents is the opposite divided by the adjacent, the cosine is the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse, the sine is the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. Yeah, so whenever I do a trigonometry question, I put it at the top of my paper, toa ka so, uh, tangents opposite adjacent, cosine adjacent hypotenuse, sine opposite hypotenuse. All right, fantastic. But with trigonometry, it is vital, yeah, it is vital that you take a moment, yeah, before you start writing things down to decide what are the names of my, of the sides of my triangle? Now I already drew the name of the hypotenuse over here because the hypotenuse is the hypotenuse. It will always, this side will always be called the hypotenuse. It's the longer side in a right angle triangle, yeah? but more importantly you had to identify it, it is that side across the angle of 90 degrees. Yeah? So if I have my right angle here, 90 degrees, it is on the other side. Always, that's the hypotenuse, doesn't change. Yeah, I can put my triangle like this, the hypotenuse is still there. I can put it like this, the hypotenuse is the hypotenuse. We have two more sides, yeah, and we call them either the opposite or the adjacent. And that depends where you are standing in your triangle. Now, what am I trying to say? If I am standing in this corner of my triangle, the hypotenuse is the hypotenuse. But now this side is adjacent to me. It's next to me, it is touching me. Yeah, that one is touching me as well, but that's the hypotenuse already. But if I'm standing in this corner, that side will be my adjacent. Yeah. And automatically, the third side will be my opposite. It is opposite of me, it is not touching me. Yeah. If you like, we draw a little river, yeah, and the other side is opposite of the river. That's my opposite, that's my adjacent. But be careful, because that will change. Because the second I stand in this corner, yeah, at the top, yeah, hypotenuse is the hypotenuse, but now this side becomes my adjacent. Yeah? Now this side of the right angle triangle is touching me, while that side will be my opposite. It's going to be across my little imaginary river. All right, so always take a few seconds to decide what is the hypotenuse, what is the opposite, what is the adjacent. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do now as well. Back to the question. Yeah, right angle triangle, we have to calculate the length. I start thinking about Pythagoras, I cannot apply Pythagoras, so it's going to be trigonometry. Toa ka so, let me write it down. Toa 
Okay. So, okay, there at the top of my paper. If I stand in my angle, which side do I have to find? It is going to be the opposite. Yeah, so that's why I'm deciding. I'm not writing anything down. I'm just deciding. I'm looking at the situation. I'm analyzing. It is the opposite side. And which side do they give to me? That will be the hypotenuse. Fantastic. Opposite hypotenuse. Am I sure? Yes, I'm sure. Opposite hypotenuse. Opposite hypotenuse. We are going to use the sine, boys and girls. So the sine of 50 degrees and the ratios immediately followed by the angle 50 degrees in this particular case will equal the opposite divided by the hypotenuse x divided by 12 x divided by 12 okay that was basically the trigonometry part because now it's rearranging the formula making x the subject and um to isolate x we'll multiply both sides by the denominator because Nobody likes fractions, so let's get rid of it. Times it by 12. So 12 times the sine of 50 degrees equals x. Yeah. Now I grab my calculator. Yeah. And please notice, first I write everything down. I do not have a calculator even in the neighborhood. When I finish writing things down, I grab my calculator. Okay, let's go for it. The sine of 50 equals times 12 equals all right now be careful because my calculator and hopefully so will yours says 9.19253337 but we have to round that to three significant figures one two three and that nine stays a nine or goes up to a ten that depends on the next one it's lower than a five so it will stay in nine the answer is 9.19. Now let's quickly evaluate that. We don't have a lot of time left. But the hypotenuse is 12, yeah, which is the longest side of the right angle triangle, always, meaning that x at least has to be smaller than 12. So I will believe my answer. It looks good. I'm confident. I'm going to the next question. Again, a right angle triangle, slightly rotated, but I have an angle of 90 degree over there. They're asking for x, it's a length, Pythagoras. I have one side, but I do not have the other side, so I cannot use Pythagoras. But that's no reason to panic, because they give me an angle. So it is trigonometry what we're going to use. Yeah, the ratios, tangents, cosine, or sine. Yeah, and before I write things down, there's no rush really. Stand in your corner, in the 30 degrees, position yourself there, imagine you're there. Which sides are we talking about? Well, in this particular case, that's the opposite, and x is the adjacent. Because this side, yeah, and we're not really bothered about it, that will be the hypotenuse. Huh? So again, 7 is my opposite, x is my adjacent. Opposite, adjacent, opposite, adjacent, opposite, adjacent. It's the tangents. All right, let's continue. The tangents of 30 degrees, uh, the ratio is immediately followed by the corner equals the opposite divided by the adjacent 7 divided by x and now x is in my denominator please uh, compare that to this situation where x was in my numerator it's in my denominator now nothing to worry about I just will have to do one extra step to isolate x Again, I'm pretty sure you don't like fractions. Let's get rid of it. We multiply it by denominator, x in this case. However, that's only fair if we do it on both times. Eh? We know that. So x times the tangents of 30 degrees, that will equal 7. And the tangents of 30 degrees, that is, that is a number. Eh? So like if you would have 2x equals 12, then x equals 12 divided by 2. Now you have x tangents 30 equals 7. So x equals 7 divided by the tangents of 30 degrees. Yeah? So we divide the left side of the equation and the right side by, of the equation by the tangents of 30 degrees. Okay, let me put an equal sign there. Now I grab my calculator. I really don't need it before. And I will put in the tan of 30 equals 
and 7 divided by my answer equals, and I put it down, and it gives me a lot of numbers, 12.124355, five, five and a few more. But we have to round to three significant figures. One, two, three. The one stays a one and goes up to a two. That depends on the first number you don't write. Again, it's lower than a five. So it's going to be 12.1. So x equals 12.1. And if I again have a quick look at the situation, seven, okay, it's never drawn to skill, eh? these, 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 these triangles, but if this would have been, if my answer would have been 121, and that side is seven, that would be a little bit funnier. Seven, 12.1, that looks fantastic. So I'm pretty confident that is a correct answer. Let's move on to the next question and have a good day at the same time. I'll see you later.